Hi, Jeff Lawton here, and I want to show you a ram pump. I was recently in New Zealand, and there was a homemade ram pump on one of our institute properties, made from an assembly of parts, and it's a very simple system. The whole mechanics of a ram pump was first discovered back in the 17th century, the first processes of how it would work, and it's really very simple. It's the gravity fall of water with two valves, one that gets shut as the friction of the water starts to fall down the delivery pipe and then pressured back into a chamber against air pressure. In this case, it was just a car in a tube inside a chamber pumped to 70 pound pressure. So the, the back pressure against that compressed air captured in the chamber, releases water up a smaller diameter pipe. So what we've got is the water coming down from just above the little barrage down built out of the gabions, like a weir. The water's coming down the pipe and it's hitting into the cylinder which has a car inner tube in it. And that's full of air at 70 pound pressure and the back pressure against there is shutting back the flapper valve, which can send water up the, the, the lift pipe. So water coming down here gets to a point where the back pressure off that inner tube inside that cylinder shuts the flapper valve and sends a residual pump that way. At the same time, a shockwave goes back up the line. You can see the shock wave come out just there because there's a hole in the feed pipe. If you look just above those two star pickets, you can see a pulse of water. Yeah, so it's 70 psi in strength. All right, so probably 20, maybe 30 meters in lift. And it just runs continuously on the fall of water. Yeah, so a one-way valve just here opens, the tap opens to the delivery pipe. And this is the pressure pipe with the flatter, flapper valve. At this end, we have the pressure cylinder and it's simply got a car inner tube in there at 70 PSI pressure. It gives us the back flush of pressure. There we go. Ram pressure, ram pump pressure. Now that lifts the water up to 10 times the fall of gravity from the delivery pipe. It's not 100% efficient because four-fifths of the water goes through the pump and exhausts, where one-fifth, though, gets jetted uphill with a pulse. Very few moving parts, but a constant delivery of water if you have falling water on your property. So you can build a little check dam you can get the water up a metre or two in height, and then you can fall it down your delivery pipe and set up a ram pump. Now these systems, you can buy a ram pump, there are lots of manufacturers out there and they have different levels of efficiency at different costs, or there are plans where you can make a ram pump yourself and you can get all that online. You just need to know that the fall of water will pump water and it will pump it to quite a good head pressure at a constant pulse rate, but it'll exhaust four fists. But that doesn't matter because we take up the slack with our permaculture systems, our soakage systems, and our life systems. If we have a little bit of water falling through our gardens, our food forests, and our animal systems, we can produce food forever. So enjoy the ram pump. It's a great system, and everybody needs to know it's possible.